Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Legend of Grimrock 2. So last time we run around chasing the leprechaun down, beat the shit out of him, got some booty for it, and we got our hands on our second power gem. We also found a butt ton of secrets. However, we haven't actually made our way in here yet. So I think the tactic is to... Yeah, it seems like that's probably gonna work. Okay, so we need to dodge this attack. Then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Just in time, holy shits. And there we go, we got our third power gem. So I believe one more to go, and then we could probably take them back to those weird faces that mention the Shrine of Fire or whatever, which I assume we still haven't found the Shrine of Fire, I don't really know, and I am carrying so many bloody torches. This is insane. Like, I, I really don't think we need this many. I believe there's a light spell, though I don't actually know the combination for it. I don't even know if we can even cast it, but yeah, I believe there is one. So, oh, there's a switch here. Really? This gate doesn't open? The, oh, okay. Did we go down that pit? I feel like we did. Like, I seem to remember we went down there, albeit that it was by mistake. Was that where we got ganked by a gang of rats, or was that somewhere else? I don't really remember, but, uh... Yeah, we still haven't done the section with the zombies, uh, back where we killed... Well, we didn't kill the leprechaun, back where we beat him up. And I don't know what else we have to do in here. I feel like there was something down here that we were missing. Wasn't there like a gate blocking something? Or am I imagining that? I don't know. Uh, did... Wait, what? Oh, okay, the gate's open. Okay, so we did get that. You have to forgive me, it's been a couple of days since I played, so... Kind of forgetful. Now, we definitely went here, I remember we got like a key or something, and we beat up the skeletons. But again, I don't think we actually went down this pit. So we're gonna try jumping down here. Oh, shit. Oh, that's bad. Two of us are injured, and now we're moving slowly, and there's rats. There's like a big rat, and I see more down there. This could be going better. Like, it genuinely could be. If we can just... I was gonna say, if we can just kill the big guy, we might stand a chance, but... Even the little guys kick the crap out of me. I'll be honest with you, I think we're gonna die. But that's okay, because I saved it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I need you to die, buddy. Stay with me, Artur. Why is Artur is so damn weak defensively? Hey, there he goes! You sick. Okay, well, uh... We gotta die. <laughs> so we gotta reload the game. Yeah, give me a moment here, because... I think we can do that, and there's bound to be booty down there, but... We need to pull it off better. Okay, let's do this shit. Now, let's hope that... Okay, one dude got injured. I think we can probably still move at the normal speed, though. We gotta try re Oh, shit. I was gonna say, we gotta try resting, because... It seems like possibly a viable tactic. Why do you have to be here, sir? Okay, this is bad. I was hoping to retreat and then maybe fight them from a better place? But yeah, this son of a bitch is kind of blocking me in here, and we are dying. Why do you take so- Why are the rat men so powerful? I don't understand. Thank you! Okay! Run. Please don't be a dead end. Okay, there's two ways to go, that way's a dead end. This way's a dead end! Fantastic! Oh, shit. Well, we gotta try resting, please. Okay, we got a little tiny bit of HP back. It was worth it, I think. But, uh... I also think we're fucked here. Because even if we survive this guy, we got the big fella to deal with. Even though I don't think they're as tough as this dude, he, he's gonna take probably a little bit longer to kill. Maybe. I don't know, they actually seem weaker than me, just because... These ones have throwing knives, and they seem quicker. I, I don't know, man, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of hard. I'm trying to juggle the people around. Oh, my God, we lived. We're not going to, oh, God. We're not going to survive this guy, though. We are, frankly, screwed old. Absolutely goddamn screwed old. I'd say I'm doing a pretty good job of juggling here, though. Okay, no, 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 no. We, we're going to lose people. This is kind of inevitable, but we might survive. I, I just want to see what's down here. Come on, you can do it. Oh, shit. Da, 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 da. Please die. Why are you dying? Come on, man. What the hell? He's... He's not really attacking me. That's... Oh, you dick. He wasn't, anyway. I have beaten the crap out of him. Why is he... Well, that goes on. Son of a bitch, man. Ornstein died one attack before the enemy. Well, shit. Hey, at least we're alive. I think it was just the three rats down here. I hope so. Well, first things first, we gotta try healing the hell up. Cause yeah, if there are more rats down here with a full party or at least, you know, three dudes instead of four, 
we still stand a pretty decent chance. As long as there's not, you know, another three of them. But, uh, hey. Only one guy down, it could be worse, could be better though. I can't believe you died like one shot before the enemy, you bastard. Like that really sucked. Okay, so there's a gate there with a teleporter, or assumably that's how we get back up again. And hey, we found a mushroom. Okay, so is there a secret switch or something? I don't know. We never actually checked over here. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a lever there, and we found two healing potions, which would have been real bloody handy before. But hey, whatever. Right, so just checking the walls before I go pulling that lever. Don't see anything. Okay, so it sounds like this probably opens the gates. Now, I think we're done down here. Was it worth it? Probably, yes, but... <laughs> it was... Put this way, I don't think the difficulty exactly... Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Oops. I don't think the difficulty was really that appropriate for the reward. Like, that was a very hard fight. And yeah, we got some stuff out of it, but it was nothing crazy. Yeah, I don't know. And we still have to do that room with the gazillion zombies. Which we are gonna do. Yeah, I kinda need to go back to the crystal and heal up, and then I guess we're ready to do that, because... I don't remember anything else in here that we haven't done yet, at least... that I know about. So yeah, give me a moment here to heal up, and we'll try the zombie pit of death. Okay, we're back at this literal hellhole again. Now there are other pits! So I'm thinking maybe if we drop down one of those instead of the trap the leprechaun sent us down, maybe it's gonna be a bit safer? And yeah, once again, we're gonna start putting our stats into armor for the front guys, cause we need defense, goddammit. And of course, someone got injured again. Right, so now, there was the Shrine of Gluttony, I believe it was, something like that. Oh shit, okay, there's a dude over there. Okay, we managed to heal up, cause zombies are slow. See, it was like the Shrine of Gluttony, we're not gonna open that yet, cause I believe a bunch of dudes poured out of there. So we're gonna try and eliminate what's in this room. And I still think there's going to be a butt ton of them, but still, we're going to try and get rid of them, thin the numbers, then, you know, rest up, and then go in the Shrine of Gluttony. Hopefully. Come here, buddy. Here we go. Okay. I think we can do this. We just need to not get cornered. It's as simple as that. The zombies really aren't that bad. Like, they may be the easiest enemy we've fought so far. They're very slow, they don't have much HP, and we even have a spell that they're weak to. So yeah, and you are not regening me Oh, you're like really hungry, holy shit. Okay. Kinda need you to regen magic of bro. You're like uh you're like our MVP right here. You're straight up balling. And we got away with it. Good. I wish our Taurus wasn't injured. Everyone gets injured all the time. Bastards. Hello. Burn. Okay, I really like the fire. <laughs> it's like the only thing that's good against a gang of four, because it hits all of them. And they're weak to it. Here we go. Okay. This is going much better. Holy shit. I don't know what's going to be down here, but hey, even if there's not very much, we're at least getting some easy EXPs. Let's rest up again. Yeah. Cheesing. Now, is anything here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, it's probably just somewhere that you are designed to get trapped by the enemies. I don't really know. I don't see many of them around here. Like, surprisingly few. Maybe most of them poured out the Shrine of Gluttony last time? I don't know, right? As a teleport there, it's assumably the way we get back here. Yep. And we found some booty. Lockpicks and... Cheese. Well, alright then. Makes sense to me. Hello? Zombies? g g g g g Ruh -ruh raggy where the hell are they? Was that really all the ones that were down here without opening up the Shrine of Gluttony? Because if that's the case, then I really screwed myself over by opening that shit up. <laughs> like, really badly. Yeah, I believe this was the corner that we died in. Like, we put the food here, and then we just got pinned in this corner and got mauled horribly. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was a bad idea. And we're gonna save it, and then put on the last piece. Just seems like a really good idea to me. Now, I don't know if it's gonna open up any other walls behind us. I doubt it, but you never know. We might get ambushed from behind here, so... We gotta try and be careful of that. That's right, come over here, you. I like you. Now, yeah, see you there, buddy. Come here. That's right. Just come over here and die. Burn. Oh, shit. There's a big gang of them over there. I think we're still safe from behind. It's kind of hard to tell that. Turning around, don't really want to. Because, oh, shit. You know, I'll put my backs to the enemies. Yeah, even for, like, a gang of four, they really don't do that much damage when they hit. They don't hit very often because they're very, very slow. So, yeah, frankly, I think I kind of suck for dying here. Cause it probably really shouldn't happen. But then again, I... I just straight up screwed myself by opening the Shrine of Gluttony. 
That was a little bit ironic, really. My own greed got me killed. Son of a bitch. Maybe they intentionally named it that way. I don't really know. What the hell are you doing, bro? Why aren't you dying? Oh, shit. There, there is a lot of them. Good lord. This is where it's going to get kind of funky because now we can't really... Oh, shit. We can't... Yeah. Our two dudes are half dead in the front. We can't really rest to get some magic back on our mage. So, yeah. Just got to make sure we don't get trapped here because we don't have any more fire. Is that all of them? I thought it was like another gang of four behind them, but I guess I imagine that. Oh, shit. I think we're going to be fine, assuming these are the last ones, but... I don't know. I don't see any more. Did we do it? Like, did we actually... Oh, I can't take my food back right now. That's annoying. Hello? Anything else in here to maul me horribly? Well, we got away with resting. I think we did it. Holy shit. Finally, I think we can finally leave this place. There might be a fourth power gen down here, but I kind of doubt it. Because the way they mention it again, they mention that some were above and some were below, so... I imagine there's two below, we already got those. So there's probably one more up above ground. And we found a Tome of Health. I'm assuming that just boosts your HP. Yes, it does. Okay, so here's the question. Who the hell needs it the most? Artorius, apparently. Well, I guess it makes sense as he does die all the bloody time. There you go, buddy. Now try and live a little bit longer, good lord. Right, so are there any secrets around here? I'm guessing there probably are, and we found some gloves. Is that our first pair of gloves? I think it might be. And yeah, we're going to put it on him, because Ornstein actually usually lives. Even though he was the only one that died against the rats, but still. Generally speaking, he survives more of the time. Any more booty over here? Apparently not. Really? But <laughs> please tell me there's more than just a pair of gloves down here. Like there has to be. Hey, we've got uh, a speed potion. Interesting. It's kind of annoying there's no descriptions. I mean, assumably it makes you quicker, but I'm wondering if you can use that for, like, puzzles where... For example, that puzzle where we had the trap door and the, the green blob thing that gets shot at us. Maybe with a speed potion that's easier to do because you move quicker. I don't really know. Maybe it makes you attack quicker. But I assume it's movement speed. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's neither. Maybe it does something else entirely. I don't know. Apparently it's somewhere else over here that we haven't been yet. But yeah, we need to take our food bags. I believe we're done in the Shrine of Gluttony, and there frankly wasn't very much in there. Besides a shit ton of zombies. Right, and you? There we go. Okay, apparently pretty much everyone needs to eat. Uh, do you even kind of? Okay, we're all fed up. Let's get the crap out of here. See, so, yeah, over here and to the left. Is there any more zombies? No, oh, okay, so it's the teleporter. Huh, I guess we're done down there now. So... Yeah, I think we're ready to go back up to the surface, which I'm happy about. Don't get me wrong, I really like this dungeon, but I much prefer the outside areas. It's just there's more variation and stuff, but yeah, this was definitely fun. But yeah, again, if you are kind of new to Grimrock, this dungeon is very much what Grimrock 1 is entirely like. There's no outside areas, and a lot of the dungeons look like this. I still really enjoy Grimrock 1, but Grimrock 2, it, I don't know, man. It feels almost like a step up in pretty much every aspect, like... They really improved upon the game. I really, really enjoy this. Okay, so, there's booty over there that we're missing. But yeah, I don't really know how we can get to that. I guess I'm gonna check around a little bit more, and then when we're ready, we'll head up to the surface. If I find something, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll see you back at the surface. Okay, we're back at the staircase over here. This is where we never really went up and checked before, and we found the shield potion and the shield spell, or whatever the hell it was, right next to it. Oh, I remember this guy, actually, yeah. Okay, so it's just a quick way back up there. And that shrine's over on the left where we have to use the power gems for the game. We still need one more, so... Probably not really much point in doing that right now. And hey, we found some secret pellets. Good. Okay, and apparently we haven't actually gone behind this place yet. And I believe, looking at the map, that there seemed to be a chest out here. Yeah, okay, good. And it looks like we need to lockpick it, but we do have lockpicks. Yeah, I'll see you there, buddy. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Dang. I'm, you, I'm assuming these dudes aren't going to take very long to kill now, considering we we're way stronger than we were before. Or, well, you know, I'm going to die pretty quickly. Give me my ass back, you little bastard. Okay, it's a lockpick this shit. Now, who's got them? I believe it's you. Yes. Perfect. What's in the box? Okay, so hey, we got a lightning rod. And some boots. Are you wearing boots? You are. Okay, so what do they do? Two protection, one vitality. 
It seems very decent, I guess. What do the boots that we have right now do? Four protection, that seems way better than me. And you have shitty sandals, so I guess we'll stick them on you. Or do I want to give them... Eh? Yeah, I guess we'll just give them to our tourists. Kind of tempting to switch them around, but... I'm lazy, what do you want from me? Right, so you can have the shitty sandals, I guess. And Goff, once again, pretty much has nothing, but to be fair... He doesn't die that much, he seems to get injured all the bloody time, though. Right, stick around here see so if we can find any more booty before we carry on. I guess we need to go in this direction now. I think we entirely checked out the left-hand side. I think. What do you do? Can I cast magic with you? No, I can't. What the hell? Really? Okay, so it sounds like I can just use it for its special attack? Well, I guess you can melee with it as well, but he's in the back row, so it's not really that handy. Chucking. But we already have a shock spell. Maybe that's a more powerful shock spell? I don't know. I guess we'll give it to him for now so we can just use shock if we want to without consuming our magic power. I guess that's kind of the advantage there. I I don't know. Maybe it does take power. Oh, it does. Quite a lot as well. What the bloody hell's the point there then? I don't know. I feel like there is a point, but I don't really see it right now. So what were you hiding, tree buddy? Apparently, absolutely nothing. What the hell? Well, all right then. I don't know what's up with the tree guys. Like, they're sitting there in the bushes if they can ambush you, but I've never actually had one jump out on me. Maybe I just keep attacking them before they get a chance to do it, but it doesn't seem like they do. See, I don't know what up with that. And there's another power gem there. Okay, ooh. See what I mean? It's like one right behind me, dude doesn't even attack me. Maybe he would if I had opened the gate to get to the power gem. It's kind of hard to tell, but... Yeah, mostly they just seem passive, like they're optional fights, I guess. And you're damn right I'm gonna kill them, because I need all the EXP that I can get. I'm also gonna try and be careful here, because even though they're tiny, still kind of hurts. Right, so how do we get in here? Oh, is that another one? It totally is. What? This is what I say, like, I keep walking by, I don't even see them. And they, they're like, nope, I'm not gonna ambush you. Perfect opportunity, and you don't even do it. You are terrible, sir. Just terrible. Get out of my sights. Okay, so anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, how the hell do we get in here? I don't know. I don't see a lever or anything around here. How do I get to you? Yeah, we have three power gems, so that should be the last one. Maybe we get to it from the other side? Oh, damn, there's a lot of directions to go in here. Like a lot of directions, holy shit. I just realized we still haven't dug up the uh, the treasure that we... We found like a note when we first entered that tunnel and it mentioned something about a guy that had buried some treasure between two uh, like torches or lanterns or something, I think he said. So we still need to go back and do that. I assume that's right back at the start now. Oh, we found... Oh! Yeah, I opened the gate over there. Oh, well, alright then. That seems way easier. See, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe if we'd opened that gate and then gone to go in there, then maybe the, the bush buddies would attack us. I don't know. I don't know why they would be there otherwise, man. It just seems kind of strange to me. Well, anyway, we've got our fourth power gem. About damn time. And we got some pence. And they are better, but they're also light pence. Which we still don't have proficiency in, so we're going to ignore them for now. But, you know, when we actually get the proficiency, we can finally do some good shits. And we need to check over here as well. Hello? Monsters? Booty? You know, like anything? Give me booty, goddammit. I think I see something over there, but I don't know how the hell we get to it. Maybe it's not, I don't really know. Anything over here? No. I don't think so, anyway. Nope, doesn't look like it. There is a distinct lack of booty around here. Like, we found, like, one chest and a couple of bush buddies. There ain't much else going on around here. The hell is this? Oh, okay, we're in another section of the forest, apparently. This place is gigantic. Holy shit! Okay, and... That looks suspicious to me. What up with this rock? Uh... I guess nothing? Oh no, it looks like a weird rock to me. Everything looks weird. I th That's the thing about Grimrock. Every time you see something, like any kind of wall that looks even slightly strange, you're like, there must be a secret switch. And you just spend 20 minutes looking at the damn wall. It's kind of addictive. Oh, hello. I guess there are more of these vine thingies. What the hell is that noise? Uh... I don't know, but that sounds scary as hell. It sounds like blades of some kind. 
So maybe there's a trap nearby? I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna die as soon as I open this chest. What do we get? Hey, we got trouble chest plates and a bloody torch? Really? I just threw away like 20 of them, and yes, I'm gonna pick it up anyway. Okay, so yeah, you need light armor for proficiency for that, however, it does give energy, and energy is what our mage needs to cast spells. So I'm thinking we should just chuck it on him, because he's not gonna get hit that often, so it shouldn't really matter that much that he doesn't have evasion. I hope. Maybe I'm wrong about that, maybe I've doomed us all, but I, I'm pretty sure that should be okay. Obviously, it would be better if he had proficiency, but... Yeah, screw it for now, we're gonna go with that. Holy shit. This place looks amazing. Hey, I see a crystal over there. Check that shit out! Oh, da what the hell are you? Don't kill me. Holy shit, I love this game. How damn cool is this? I don't know how people can not like this, man. This is amazing. And yeah, there's little tiny versions. What? Well, I assume they're tiny versions of it over here. I remember these dudes from the first game. They shouldn't be too, too tough. Though they are kind of quick as far as I remember. But yeah, I do kind of want to end the video here, but also we may as well just fight these dudes off very quickly so it's kind of safe next time. And, oh, there's more over there. Let's try and get rid of this one. What does this say? Sleet Island and Twigger Forest, that's where we were, and some kind of a bog. Okay, so it sounds like there's a swamp around here, and yeah, there's like a giant castle thing in the distance. So I guess we're going to be heading there at some point. I know, man, I'm excited. I also, we do need to go back and use the power gems as well. And with a keen eye and a sharp aim, they entered. Okay. Is it some kind of a puzzle? I d Oops. Why am I under the sea now? Under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better than where it's where to take from. I can't, I can't continue along that path. Okay, so there's booty down here. I shit. Damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, so we're drowning now. How do I get out? How do I get out? Why is there a turtle here? This is bad. I'm gonna save it. Even though, like, you know, an alternate save, because we're, we're gonna die here, and I, uh, need to figure out how to get out of here. I don't think I'm gonna do that before I die. Is, there's a lever. What do you do? What the hell's going on, man? We got to, we, 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 I, I, how do I get out? Help me! What the hell is going on? I, oh, son of a bitch. Well, shit! <laughs> okay, so, note to self, you can accidentally walk in the water and then drown horribly. But there was booty and enemies and a lever down there. So... Maybe we can get breathing gear at some point, or maybe it's something that you have to go in and out of quickly. But yeah, I didn't see a way out. So I don't know what up with it. Uh... I don't know the last time I saved it. I think it was quite a while ago, so we need we need to find a way out of here. Like, we really do. I, oh, you can, you can totally catch the fish. That's amazing, and I threw... <laughs> we gotta die again! Well, shit. Alright, give me a moment here to try and figure out the way out, because there must be one. Oh my god, I see a ladder! Yes! Oh, holy shit. That was scary. Okay, let's rest the hell up. And yeah, I'm gonna end the hit. Oh my god, get out of here, you. Well, shit. Well, I guess I'm gonna kill these two first. Oh my god, this grid. Hopefully the other one on the other side won't attack me, but I don't know. I just want to save the game. Get out of here. Okay, that was a good shot. Alright, let's deal with this guy, and yeah, we're gonna end the video after this. But uh, I don't want to end it with a dude right on my face, because next time I load the game, probably gonna gank the shit out of me. So I'm gonna have to ask that you die. Like, where are you? Where Where the hell are you? Oh my god. Now, that's a bad Birdman thing. Yes, okay. Gonna wait it here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Grimrock 2.